Hello my family. It is another uh, cooking night in the kitchen. I just got through making me some pita because we are actually, um, hubby's got low carb pita. I have regular pita wraps and I'm fixing to make a gyro, which is a Greek sandwich basically that otherwise known as gyro gyro is the proper name for it so we're going to make um tzatziki sauce and we're going to do the meatballs so we're going to do that together in just a moment okay so for the first thing i'm doing with my tzatziki sauce um i am actually taking my cucumbers now these are actually seedless so i'm going to dice these rather thin you can shred them dice them slice them however you want this i'm just gonna make small dices out of this and i'm actually going to strain the liquids out of this because we do not we want our sauce creamy we do not want it full of a lot of juice so we're just going to run this through slice these down now if you've got a cucumber with seeds you can absolutely use it to scoop the seeds out of it so now I'm just going to take my cucumbers in here for right now. And now I'm going to take some salt and sprinkle some salt. And that salt is actually going to draw out the liquid in my cucumbers. So I'm just going to take it like this. And now I'm going to let this sit for a little while. And then I'm going to come back and strain these until all the liquid is out of it as much as it possibly can. And in the meantime, we're going to put the rest of our sauce together while these are waiting, straining pretty much. Okay, so with the rest of the sauce, we're going to use one cup of plain uh, yogurt, Greek or otherwise. If you are not a fan of yogurt, you can use sour cream in its place. It won't be as tangy or basically as thick as you would with Greek yogurt, but you can substitute that. And this meal does go for both diabetic and Mediterranean both sides. Now I'm going to use, at this point, three cloves of garlic that are minced. Add that in here. I am using one small lemon. I did save the rinds, remember to save those rinds because they can be used in other meals. Also you can save what's left of the lemon, soak them in vinegar and you can have a 100% disinfectant cleaner, let it sit for a little while, you can have a, a all natural cleaner that's disinfected. So. Now I'm going to use one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. That's going to equal out to about one small lemon. So might be just a little less than that on this. So I can always use this juice for something else. So I'm just going to squeeze this ever slightly to get half. And that'll be good right there. Now I'm going to take and save and reserve the rest of this lemon for something else. Now I need about an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper and salt. Go by your taste, basically. So that just comes out to be about a pinch of salt here. And then I need uh, one tablespoon of fresh dill. And I do have some of that that I've grown on the farm. So we're gonna take, I have washed my dill already and I'm just gonna take a couple sprigs of this and I'm going to chop it up and add it to my sauce and I'll tell you I have found that fresh dill there's nothing like fresh okay so we're just going to take some of this and get us about a tablespoon's worth here I hope this TV isn't interfering with this video y'all I do try hard. Okay, so now, yeah, I got a good tablespoon out of this. Maybe just a little bit more. 
but a little bit of dill, a little bit more won't hurt. So we're just going to add that to our sauce, and then we're going to get that um, cucumbers strained off, extract all the water from it, and then we're going to add it to the sauce, and then we're going to mix it up. So once I get the cucumbers done, we will have the tzatziki sauce set, mixed, put in the refrigerator, and then we're going to work on the um, yiddo meatballs. I'm not going to actually make the meat. I am going to make the meatballs that will go with our pita. So we will be right back as soon as that cucumber is done. Okay, so I took my cucumber and squeezed it out between a cheesecloth. And now I'm just going to actually add this to there. Mix this up really good. Oh, don't that look so good, y'all. Beautiful tzatziki sauce to go with gyros is amazing. Now, I will be using lamb meat in mine, ground lamb. You can use ground lamb and pork, beef and pork. You can use chicken, ground turkey, any of these meat sources. You can use just regular hamburger meat if you wanted to. Any of these meat sources will work for this type of meal. So now I'm going to take our tzatziki sauce, we're going to put it in another dish, cover it up, and then we're going to let this sit while we get ready to work on our meatballs. Okay, now I am not going to bake these considering it's really hot here. So I'm just going to pan fry these here. I'm going to get my oil heated up and I'm going to be using some olive oil to heat these. I'm also going to eliminate the filler or the binder, which would be breadcrumbs, to make this safe for hubby. Otherwise, I could divide this meat up, make two different his and hers, one for breadcrumbs, one with pork skins. If you are just making this for yourself and you are a diabetic, you can add your breadcrumb sources as pork skins. But I am going to leave it completely out. So. I'm going to go ahead and get this on medium-low, let this heat up. And in the meantime, I'm going to be adding about a quarter teaspoon of thyme, because we are making this Greek style, by the way. I need a teaspoon of salt. teaspoon of black pepper I'm going to be adding a pinch of red pepper flakes that's optional you do not need to add that it just kind of gives it a bit of a kick but it's not necessary I need about a half a teaspoon of cumin And this is one pound of ground lamb meat, and I actually found this at Aldi. Occasionally it'll be a hit or miss, but occasionally I will catch the ground lamb and I will I will purchase it. Ground or lamb is good for you, so all right. That's well. I need a half a teaspoon of rosemary. I added just a little bit too much cumin, so I'm gonna actually pull this off of it. There we go. There, now I got about a half. All right, so I need a half a teaspoon of rosemary, and I am going to grade this between my hands to kind of crush up these leaves a bit. A half a teaspoon of dried oregano. And I need one egg. I am actually going to be adding 
some quail eggs to mine. And I will be right back with you. Apologize for that, y'all. Hobby had something to say, and I had to find out what it was. So, now, as I was saying, I am actually going to be using quail eggs in mine instead of regular eggs. The reason for it, I like the extra minerals and vitamins that these create. So, and yes, these are a pair of little scissors. It cuts the top off just like that. And then I just pour the ingredients out of there. And they are very tiny. It takes, I'm going to use three. It takes about three to four. These are jumbos. So, three of these will be just enough that I need to make one egg. So, we're going to mix this all together. And then we're going to fry these up. Now, I'm going to clean this off and get this ready. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. Okay, so, and I did forget something. I added two cloves of garlic to this as well. It's not Greek without the garlic, so. Now I'm just going to mix this up really good until everything is incorporated. And then I'm going to make some little meatballs out of this. One that will fit into pitas nicely. We don't want them too big and we don't want them too small. Okay. You will know when everything is incorporated extremely well. Alright, so I'm going to actually get this cleaned off and then I am going to be using a meatballer so to do this with it. That way I get consistent um, um, sizes on my meatballs. So let me get this cleaned up and we will be back to do this right. Okay, so I am actually using a small meatballer. This is about, maybe about a half a tablespoon size. I'm just going to take it in my mix here. And I'm going to just get a good scoop of that, just like so. And I'm going to take it and put this into my pan. Now, yeah, to make this even more better, I'm actually going to take this into my hand. And I'm going to slightly roll these up gently. Now, breadcrumbs would make it a little less sticky, so but I'm okay with this, and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to keep taking this meat like this and making our little meatballs, and we're going to fry them up until they are done. Again, this is being fried up actually in olive oil, So and you can actually get your hands wet so it doesn't stick. That's actually what I just did is wet my hands down. Okay, I got too much out of there. So, see, now it doesn't stick so well and it'll roll up very nicely. And there you go. I'm just going to keep doing this until all these meatballs are in this little pan. Once they are finished, I'll actually put these gyros together for you and we will be serving our meal so it's a quick meal it's actually a very simple one if you don't want to put a lot of effort into cooking for a night you just want something quick and simple instead of going out to eat make this at home y'all you can't do no better than that so I'm gonna go ahead and get this done and then we will be back okay so now we put our yerdo sandwich together and I'm going to actually show you by using one of my pitas. Hubby has a low carb version and I will put that link to that video on how to make that in the description box. Along with the recipe for t Ziki and these meatballs. So now I have my pita wrap. I'm going to take my t Ziki sauce that I had here and I'm going to spread it at the bottom toward the center of my wrap just like so and then just a tad bit more all right 
Now I'm going to add my meatballs to this. And I am actually going to cut my meatballs in half. You can choose to leave them the way you like to or not. I'm actually just going to cut mine down. Kind of make it like the um, regular yiddo meat. Oh, this smells so yummy, y'all. Alright, so now I've got my meat. Let's throw just one more piece here. Right here. Okay, so now I'm going to take... I'm going to use a spring mix for mine. Just take one side of this and give it a nice sprig of spring mix on the side of this. some sliced thinly purple onions we're just going to lay this on top and then I have some thinly sliced now these were actually our um, homestead raised tomatoes cherry tomatoes so I'm just going to top that on top of this and that's it this is my yiddo for this evening and then we have it homemade so I hope you enjoyed this video um, I'm hoping this is another blessed meal quick simple meal for each and every one of you you can top this with some parsley if you like as well so until next time much love to each and every one of you from Parton's Heritage Homestead